And Marcos, um, what does it do in terms of Democrats who, that you're targeting, for example, who may be looking for moderates? How can there be Democratic moderates who are looking for moderate Republicans to work with when it doesn't appear that the party is willing to embrace the moderates? Well, there are moderate, I think, Republicans left, but not in Congress. Those people are long gone, long extinct. Uh, but these are people like in New York 23 who were Republicans. This is a uh, district that hadn't seen a Republican in a hundred, uh, hadn't seen a Democrat in 120 years. And he elected a Democrat last Tuesday because these moderate Republicans realized that the modern Republican Party no longer represents them. Any party that will use pictures of dead Jewish children and compare that to affordable health care really has lost its ethical and, and moral moorings. Uh, Congressman Tim well, Credo, no uh, Speaker Boehner, Speaker, well, yesterday there was, a, there, was a, there was a poster, there was a banner. We can show it again if you like. It was right there. Some of your ex-colleagues were there signing autographs under the banner. It didn't say a word. But on the issue of health care itself, when House Minority Leader Boehner says that this Democratic health care proposal is the biggest threat to freedom he has ever seen, do you agree with him that it's the biggest threat that you've yes. ever seen? Really? Bigger than you communism, bet, well, bigger than terrorism, uh, bigger than of, loose nuclear of, weapons? Yes. Go ahead. It's a, it's a threat because it's coming from the President of the United States, it's coming from the leadership in the Congress, and it is a threat to the American way of life. It is, in fact, socialism. It is, in fact, taking over a huge, huge part of our economy. And, and you know, so therefore, it is a true and very scary threat. And that's one th place I certainly agree with you, in that Instead of all this, what I certainly believe is poster posturing, I mean, we don't even know that that poster that you're looking at, for all I know, it was a Democrat like the, the one in um, Michigan. You know, remember the big, the guy holding the, the po poster of there Obama were a lot of posters looking like yesterday. a Nazi? That was a Democrat. That was a well, Democrat nobody doing that. Nobody spoke If it was a Democratic you know. So how do I know? You, you how do say, I know? You say something. It could have been. It could have been. Well, well, well Congressman, let's explore what it you could have been about for all a threat. I know. But, but we should go back and talk about health care. You're right. That's far right. more important what, than well, when, when, you when you describe it as a threat, what specifically are you referring to? Because a lot of Americans who have Medicare, which is essentially a single-payer government system, does Medicare threaten the security of the United States right now? Well, that's an interesting point because, of course, the way that they try to say that this particular bill that they propose is, is not going to cost us a uh, trillion eight hundred billion dollars is because they're going to take, I mean, an, an extra money is because they're going to take about five hundred billion out of Medicare. Medicare has already got lots and lots of problems, and I do think it's a problem. Absolutely, you can't okay, keep doctors in Okay, so how about in the Veterans Administration? The Veterans Administration is a single payer system. Same Everybody thing. in the military yeah. who was treated yesterday. Go. So the, the military members, their health care system, that's also a, fre a threat to our freedom. It, it, talk to, every veterans group I ever went and talked to complained about the Veterans Administration and the way it was a bureaucratically run program that didn't serve their needs. They would much rather have vouchers that would allow them to go out and buy their insurance <laughs> in a private marketplace. They've talked about it. At least you're, you're laughing. What you may, but want. talk to the veterans. They talked to me, and that's what they said. Marcos? I, 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 so I'm, I'm telling a, you, a there is no government huh. own Tom, I'm, yeah. I'm a veteran, okay? I, I did not get a deferment because I was too depressed to fight in a war that I supported in Vietnam. I'm, I'm a veteran, Tom. Yeah, well, that's a, and, and you know, what that's people a want, cheap, they want a more no effective, they want a say. more effective and, and, you VA. Know, you, you cannot, that's no, more listen, money. No, you're not going to do, you're not going to do that. You're not going to, you're not going to try to insult me that way and then pretend like we're just going on and talk about that. You either apologize I'm not pretending or I'm anything. I told you straight up. The issue here is what the Republicans are afraid of. They, this is a threat to Republicans. They built an entire uh, ideology predicated on telling people that government does not work. They are terrified of government programs that work because then people will realize that the government's not the enemy and that they're going to work, uh, they're going to they're gonna vote Democratic because Democrats are the party who realize that people need help and government can sometimes offer solutions. Thank you, Marcos Melitzas, and also Congressman Tom Tancredo for the time that he was with us. I think he left a little bit early, but uh, the congressman is always welcome on the show. We always appreciate hearing his uh, point of view, and uh, it's a feisty one, and that's what we like around here. Marcos, thank you as well. One final comment regarding the health care situation in this country. The status quo right now is this. 45,000 Americans die each year because they don't have health insurance. Our nation ranks 31st in life expectancy, 34th in maternal mortality, and 37th in infant mortality. For one party, one half of our political system did not take this problem seriously and to refuse to offer any real serious solutions is a disgrace. There are legitimate concerns, as the congressman raised, about deficit spending and the role of the government in tackling our health care problem. 
But concentration camps and communist takeovers are not among them. For Republicans,